I'm Sarah Raymond. Thank you for joining me. I apologize that we're a few minutes late. We're having some technical difficulty, but I'm glad that you are here. You've stuck with me. So today's practice is all about clearing your mind. Not to say that you have no thoughts at all, but just slowing it down and having a little bit more spaciousness and then opening your heart so that when you go about the rest of your day, you go with a clear mind and an open heart. So for today's practice, you might need a blanket or a towel, something that you can roll up uh, to lay on. Uh, I also have a block which I'm sitting on that could be useful for you as well or something that you can use as a pillow would be fine. Uh, as always, take what feels really good and nourishing for you and then choose something else if I offer uh, an activity that doesn't feel good for you. So we'll start by just calming the nervous system down and finding a little bit of ease in the body. So um, I'm going to take my glasses off for this. We'll start with the, the palms or the heels of your hands. At, uh, on your eyes. So you're placing your hands there so that you're creating darkness. So uh, arrange your hands in such a way that you really close out all the light. And then with your hands over your eyes, open your eyes. And then you'll know if you really have closed them off entirely. And then just allow your breath to be easy and natural, and then just let your eyes relax completely. And we'll just stay here for a few moments. Sometimes if you spend a lot of time in front of a screen, it can strain your eyes. And just by allowing your eyes in darkness to completely relax, you can release that strain or let go of that strain. So just another breath or two. You might move your eyes around in the darkness, looking from right to left. And then with your, uh, your hands still over your eyes, close your eyes. Release your hands down and just notice how your, your eyes are feeling. Notice what that might have done for your, uh, your state of being in general. And then blink your eyes open. And I find that's a really great quick activity to do if you have spent a lot of time in front of a screen just to recalibrate, regroup. It's really, really useful. Uh, so now um, taking one hand to the back of your ear, right behind your ear, that bony point, and we're going to drag down our neck. So you're coming down sort of on a diagonal towards your collarbone. I like to tip my head in the other direction just to get a little deeper stretch. Now let's go to the other side. And then bring your head back to center, relax your arms down, maybe roll your shoulders a few times. And then if you can reach behind you, the floor or the chair, whatever surface you're on, you'll put your hands down behind you and then lift your chest. Try to open the front of the chest and the shoulders. You're kind of arching your back slightly. Nice deep breath into the front of your chest. And then bring yourself back upright. And then we'll move into a twist. So you can take your right hand to your left thigh, left hand behind you, get really tall first, and then twist from the bottom up. Waist, ribs, shoulders, neck, head, 
Eyes follow, looking as far as you can. Inhale, get taller. Exhale, see if you can twist a tiny bit farther. And then inhale, unwind, coming back through center. And we'll go to the other side. So your left hand to the outside of your right leg, right hand behind you, get really tall. And take your time as you twist. So you're really working from the bottom up. Waist, ribs, shoulders, neck, head, eyes. Looking as far to your right as you can. Inhale, get really tall, making space. Exhale, twist a little farther. Inhale, unwind slowly, finding a little bit more space and openness here. And then we'll move into a side bend. So you can lift your right arm up. I like to have my left hand just lightly touching here to give me a little bit of support. So find that lift and length first, just like we did with the twist, and then side bend over to your left. Now, you might be able to go all the way to the floor, but very likely your right hip will lift up. So see how far you can go, keeping your right, uh, the right side of your pelvis, right sit bone down. And then back to center and other side. Lift your left arm, get really tall, and then up and over. So again, this time the, your left hip will stay down, left side of the pelvis. Breathe in and out, coming back up. And then we'll come off of our seat onto your hands and knees. So feel free to use any padding under your knees that you need. We're only gonna be here for a moment. So on your knees, about hip distance or so, and then just check that your hips are over your knees. And we're gonna to try to keep hips over knees as we walk our hands forward. And then let your chest drop down. Maybe your forehead touches, maybe it doesn't, it's fine. If this feels like too much strain in your shoulders, you can shift your hips back a little bit. But try not to go all the way to child's pose here. So really we're focusing on the the shoulders and chest. So once you drop your chest down, uh, we'll start to rotate a little bit. So drop your right, uh, sorry, left armpit towards the floor and turn and peek towards your, towards your right. And back to center. And then drop your right armpit towards the floor and turn and peek left. We'll do that one more time on each side lengthening through the left side body and then the right. And then go ahead and bring your hips back towards your heels, send your chest down for just a moment in child's pose. And then walking your hands back in. Okay. So we'll move on to our back now, and I would just have your props nearby so that we can use them in just a moment. So coming to lay on your back. If you can have your legs straight comfortably, go ahead and do so. If it's too much, you can have your knees bent. That would be no problem. So we're going to move into another side bend. This time, obviously, you're on your back, so it will feel a little bit different. So two options, well, a couple options. You can have your arms over your head. You can interlace your hands and cradle your head if your shoulders are okay with that. Um, and let's say one of your shoulders doesn't like this. You can just take that arm by your side. It's no big deal. So we're just trying to lengthen the neck here. Okay, so to move into a side bend, we're going to move the upper body first. So you kind of wiggle an inch your way. Let's go to the left first. So shoulders and head move to the left. 
And this might be enough for you. You might just stay here and feel like you're getting enough opening through your right side body. That's fine. If you feel like you'd like a little more, walk your feet over to your left also. And now we're just trying to side bend, not turn. So ideally, the back of your pelvis is on the mat fully. So both sides of the hips and both shoulders are on the floor. And if you still want a little more, you can cross your right ankle over your left ankle. And then you might close your eyes and just find some ease, some stillness. And you can encourage your the rate of your breath, the speed of your breath to slow down so that maybe you're taking fewer breaths per minute. And just find softness Release any gripping or holding that you might be feeling. And then keep allowing your breath to slow down as we take our time and reverse this motion to get back to center. So if your ankles are crossed, uncross them. Walk your feet back to center and then slowly head back to center and then bend your knees if they were straight take a moment and just very slowly hug your knees in and then you can lower your feet and we'll go to the other side so there's absolutely no rush take your time straighten your legs Choose your arm position that feels comfortable. And then start with the upper body, walking over to the right. And this side might be different. So if you need to choose a different version on this side, please feel free to do so. So the option next would be to walk your legs to the right. And still Another option is left ankle over right. And take a couple breaths. Close your eyes if you'd like. And slow down. And the slowing of your breath doesn't necessarily mean it has to be bigger in volume, meaning you're, you're not necessarily taking in more air. You're just slowing down the length of time of your inhale and the length of exhale. As you continue to breathe slowly, uncross your ankles if they were crossed, walk your feet back to center, head and shoulders back to center, bend your knees, and we'll take one more knee to chest hug. And then moving into a, a twist from this position. So keep your knees in toward your chest if that's comfortable for you. Another option would be feet down if you prefer. Arms will come out to the sides, palms turned up towards the ceiling if you're comfortable with that. And then keep your knees coming towards your chest as you bring them over to your right. 
switch over. So let your legs rest on the floor if you can. If the floor feels super far away, you can put something underneath of your bottom leg. And it's okay if the left shoulder lifts up a, li a little bit, it very likely will. So once you settle into your twist, you have the choice of eyes towards the ceiling, or you can turn your head to your left. And like we did in our seated twist, take your eyes as far to your left as you can. And then relax. So for me, I need to relax my belly, my legs, really my inner thighs in particular, the chest. So if you have those areas of gripping, just encourage them to soften and let go. If you have any other areas of gripping, relax there. Close your eyes if you'd like, or keep looking left. Slow your breath down. And then I like to use my bottom hand to help. You can if you'd like. Bring your knees back up. And then adjust if you've shifted out of center, hug your knees in, and then we'll twist in the other direction. So if you think you might need a block under your knees, go ahead and grab that. So your knees are still pulling up towards your chest as they go over to your left. And then Eyes can stay towards the ceiling, or you can turn your head right. Take your eyes as far to your right as you're comfortable. And then allow a settling into your body. Even though we're moving around, we're adjusting position, think of this as a meditation practice, just in motion. And then take your time again, you can use your Left hand to lift your legs back up. And then hug your knees in. And then the next position I'll offer will be a, a very supported heart opening position. So if you would like to join me for that, I'll walk you through using your props. You can absolutely stay on your back and just have your arms out to the side. Uh, so you're going to create a little roll with your prop of blanket, um, towel, whatever you have. And the taller it is, the bigger the heart opening. So in this case, I've rolled my blanket all the way up. If I don't want it to be that big, I would just unroll it a little. And you can see that now it's a little uh, lower to the ground. Okay. So choose your, your setup. The roll is going to go lengthwise down the center of your mat. And then for me, I, it's not quite long enough, so I need something for my head. So I would put my block at the head end. Now, you'll sit in front of the roll if you're sitting uh, or if you're using the roll excuse me so that your pelvis is on the ground and then your spine is going to be elevated so 
just gently help yourself down onto your back. And so the, the rolled up blanket or a towel is underneath of the length of your spine. Your head is supported at the same height. And then allow your arms to open to the sides for now. Legs can be straight. If this bothers your back, bend your knees. Take your feet wide and then let your knees come towards each other to rest. So this is generally the least effort that's necessary to hold your legs up in this position. Or legs can be straight. Okay, so close your eyes if you're comfortable with that. And then allow the setup of the props and gravity to just open you up. And I have my window open and it's raining, so I don't know if you can hear that, but it's very soothing and relaxing for me. Hopefully it's not distracting for you. So just allow your body to let go. And as your physical body relaxes, allow your mind to slow or feel more spacious. Keep relaxing, keep slowing your breath down. I'm actually just gonna close the window. You keep breathing. Sorry about that. I'm going to offer a little bit more of an invigorating breath to um, kind of close up the practice just to give you a nice um, level of energy to move on with your day. But again, if it doesn't feel good, you just continue relaxing as you are. So if you're going to take this breath practice, right hand on your belly, let your elbow relax left hand on your chest let your elbow relax down uh, and you can also come off the props if you've had enough and you just want to lay flat that would be fine but i would recommend laying on your back for this okay so it's going to be a two-part inhale first fill your belly then fill your chest and then a long slow exhale Inhale through your nose, two parts. Exhale through your mouth. So here we go. Breathe out completely. Breathe in through your nose, fill your belly. Little pause. Breathe in through your nose again, fill your chest. Little pause. And then breathe out through your mouth fully. You can make a sigh if you'd like. Again, like that, breathe in belly. Pause, breathe in chest. Pause, breathe out through your mouth. Just two more like that. Breathe in belly. Pause, breathe in chest. Pause, breathe out mouth. One more, breathe in belly, pause, big breathe in chest, pause, breathe out fully. Let 
your breath relax. No need to put any effort into it. Your body knows what you need. Soften where you can. And if you are on your props, take a moment to roll off of them onto your side. So you can just move them out of the way. And you can come into a, a fetal-like position on your side. Take a moment to just settle there. And then use your top hand to press you up to a seat. And we'll come into a seat like we started. Close your eyes again. And either allow your arms to rest in your lap or by your sides and find as much height, length in your spine as you can. And just take note, what is your state of being right now? How do you feel at the area of your heart? And how do you feel in your head, in your mind? There's no right or wrong. It's just mindfully noticing. And take just one more moment to bring something that you are grateful for to mind. Something, someone, perhaps it's yourself. And allow that sense of gratitude to remain with you as you blink your eyes open. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me.